everybody, it's Donna, and I'm here to do my reveal of the journal that I made for, um, by Mimi with Love, the, um, design team collab that she was holding, and it's called, um, Dream Team, Melody Made Dream Team, um, I think, don't quote me on that. I forgot to look it up before I started, but I'm so sorry, Mimi. But anyway, I want to show you the journal that I made um, with Melody's uh, gorgeous bee-themed journal kit. And um, I made several projects with it, actually, and I'm still working on another journal. Uh, I promised you guys I would come and show you... Uh, how I put a journal together from, you know, start to finish and, and kind of make some, um, ephemera and things for it. So I will still do that. I've just had a lot going on. So, but I'll get to it. I promise. Um, so anyway, let's get started. This is the cover of my journal and I am so happy with how this turned out. I just love it. This is one of the papers from the collection. I used a file folder for my cover and I just scored it and you know and this is some yellow paper you can see the out, outside is a, a bright yellow paper and I have a ton of that in my stash great big huge 17 by um, 15 sheets or 17 by 11 sheets of the yellow paper and so I used that for the cover and uh, to cover the uh, file folder anyway then I put black paper over top of that and another and this is an image from the paper collection the journal collection and then I put this beautiful doily across the spine and the front and the back and then this gorgeous doily this is actually two doilies and they are just half doilies and I put two of them there and adhered them down and then some flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree these are some cute little bees you see those little bees there I got those from Jelly Bean thank you so much sweetheart I hope you're feeling better this is a bee uh, charm that I had in my stash I I might have got that from Lisa Goss who is happy crafter um, here on YouTube and then I had this grow grain ribbon in my stash here down here on this corner I got a little seam binding bow that I made and put this beautiful black and gold gem in there these are all the little dangles that come from the center of the uh, signatures and here you can see the spine that's what it looks like and then look at that beautiful stuff right there. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's the back. And look at that beautiful paper that I used on the back. So pretty. And then um, you just untie this little knot here. And I tied it loosely so it could be untied easily. And then as you open it up, let's... Let's get into this. There's a lot to look at, so hopefully I'm going to go through it quickly. Um, I just put some ephemera in here. These are uh, a cute little booklet, actually. This is a piece of the paper, and I just um, folded it over, and then I put a little notepad over on this side and some guest checks on this side. Or just, well, it's note paper, so it's got a guest check on that side. Isn't that so cute? And then I made a pocket here, and this is the front cover, and then this is another uh, printable, and this book is the property of, and then I got this gorgeous square doily here, can you see that, doily, and then this page, and look at that beautiful, oh my goodness, how, how are we going to see this, let's see here. Can we turn it this way and you can see it better, maybe? Well, not really. I'll just scooch it over back and forth. Okay. Got this beautiful lace on this page here and a paper clip up here with some um, coffee dyed seam binding. Here is the next page. And this is a pocket from the collection. And then I got some ephemera in there. Here's the um, paper clip again. 
can see my coffee dyed paper here. And this has just got a piece of torn paper adhered to it. You can still journal, plenty of spot for journaling. This one has a pocket and it's got some ephemera in it. And these are pieces from the collection. And here is some ephemera that I had in my stash. And some more pieces uh, tag from the collection here. Beautiful lace on the outside. Gorgeous paper from the collection here. And then more coffee dyed pages. This is part of a belly band that goes across the other side. See the belly band? And I put these buttons on there in yellow and green. And uh, can you see those? You can't even see those. How about that? There's my belly bands. Look at that. Coffee dyed papers. And then this beautiful page here with this um, vintage uh, music paper. Here's a piece from the collection. And then the back. Here is just a folder that I made out of a piece of paper and put some ephemera in. And then a paper clip that I crocheted some on and put a little button on the end of it here. Super cute. And I folded the folder over the side there. More beautiful paper from the collection. And I print most all my stuff out on uh, um, cardstock rather than the printer paper. Um, here you can see I put a piece of the file folder here on this edge of the paper and one of the bull clips that has some um, of the little uh, clay pieces on there. And then more from the kit. And just got some papers there. Here's a pocket here. This is one of the envelopes from the collection, actually, and I cut a sunflower out of a piece of ephemera that I had and put that on there. And oh, love this page. And that's so pretty. Look at that page. Love that page. And then just some papers for journaling. This here, it has a flip down. Um, and it's got several pages. And then I got this little piece from the collection up here that holds it down uh, with a B that I fussy cut. This is some gorgeous lace here on this piece. And look at this piece. This is part of the collection. Look how that looks. I love how that looks. It's got this wavy uh, thing and I fussy kept that all out and then put that lace behind it so you could uh, see the lace from there and I think it turned out gorgeous. This is the center of the first signature and on the first signature I put buttons, the little ends. I tied buttons to those. We will keep going because we got a lot of stuff to look at here. Another pocket. This is another one of um, Melody's uh, digitals is this. And I printed it larger because I wanted it to use it for a pocket. So I did print it larger than it's intended to be printed. Look at that beautiful paper from the kit. And then this is a pocket, and it's got, here's one of the tags from the collection. I couldn't even see it, I'm sorry. There we go. This one has an envelope hanging over the side there, another paper clip on top. Beautiful paper here. This is a beautiful page. It's got a piece of the um, file folder there. And another one of the little bulb clips in yellow with yellow and black. The little round clay pieces. Piece of black paper to make a bigger pocket with. And then just some ephemera in the pocket. 
and then we'll keep on going. Very beautiful uh, ephemera piece from the collection with some blue uh, that I made into a tuck spot. Here's another pretty page from the collection. I love that. And it's got the lines on it where you can write. And then, oh man, I glued a bunch of these together. Look at that. Okay, here's another really cool piece. This is some book pages, and I just adhered it down. And then I put the uh, buttons, folded them over for like tabs on there, and you can still write on the book pages. Here is a pretty little pocket that I made here. And this is a uh, coffee filter that I had dyed yellow. Here is a paper clip that I made and put a little sunflower pail on it. Um, one of the bees from the collection I fussy cut and then just got ephemera in the uh, coffee filter there. So, and then just some more coffee dyed paper. This is another one of those uh, pages from the stamp book that I uh, folded in half and made a little pocket out of and here are some paid pieces from the collection and I adhered a, a doily behind there and then this one is a pocket that I made and it's got some ephemera in it as well beautiful yellow lace there love that page and this is the end of the first signature the uh, doily and then here's the second signature and it's one of the farm um, farmhouse sacks that I have in my collection there is some ephemera inside there and then we've got some of the coffee dyed pages there for journaling and then here is a piece of the book pages and then a little green bow that I made and then this is, piece is a pocket <clears throat> and then here's another beautiful page from the collection there and then lots of coffee dyed pages for you to journal on here's the um, ties from the second the second signature and these are some charms of bees and those hang down uh, out of that up here on this page is another journaling card with some journaling or tags inside of it for journaling here's another I love that page these are so pretty got a paper clip up here on the top this is a uh, two envelopes that I dyed yellow and I adhered them together and made a awesome little ephemera piece out of it I collaged up here on the front fussy cut the bee these is all these are from the collection all but the um, black piece and you can see the tags hanging out here um, that's the first envelope and I cut that side open this one here has got a little pocket on it right there this is another envelope the other one you can see come in here and you've got these pieces in here uh, you've got tags up here and a paper clip over here and it is just paper clipped on there so you can remove it so then we'll keep going because we got three signatures in this one this is a piece of wallpaper that uh, Jelly Bean Junction had given to me in a in a birthday surprise that she sent to me and I just love it. So I cut a piece of that and used that for a little tuck spot. And then I got some ephemera in here. Here's one of the tags from the collection. So pretty. And then you can see here is a pocket uh, that I made with the... Well, if you could see it. There you go. That I made with the, the wallpaper. Here is the other side of the farmhouse 
sack and that is completes our second signature and then going into our third signature we have this square doily and it's got this um, yellow uh, what do you call them rosette with a sunflower sticker on there and I thought that was super cute and then this gorgeous paper here and then here's a pocket and I just ripped a piece of paper from the collection and made a pocket out of it and then put the ephemera in there here this one just has a paper clip on it that's holding some ephemera and then another piece of that gorgeous paper from the kit love that and I just tore a piece of paper and covered this side here is some ephemera from the kit and a paper clip with a little black pom-pom on it another one of the envelopes and i collaged the fussy kept some of the pieces out and collaged on there and then um just put some journaling pieces inside there and then here i made a pocket and it's got some um vintage book pages or music sheets in there and it's folded over and you can see there's another pocket here on this side that i made um if you could see right and it's got some ephemera inside there and then more of the book pages look at that gorgeous paper and then here's another this is a library pocket from the kit and some more I tore this page here this is a piece of the collection and I tore this page here and put used it made it into a pocket and then we got some more and this this is so cool this is one of those papers the yellow paper that I used for the cover and uh, what I did was I took it and I made, just folded it so it would fit the size of the the uh, pages. And I made a double pocket. So there's a pocket on each side here with it. And see, to, to uh, go with the bee theme, I took these black pieces, I cut them in strips, and I adhered them on here so they would you know so they'd mimic like a bee theme here this is a tag that janice had made me jelly bean junction and put it in that surprise that she sent to me isn't that so cute though it looks like a bumblebee i love how that looks so pretty and this is the six middle of the third signature and i used beads on these for the dangles and then I adhered this piece. I fussy cut that and put it on there. And then we just got some. This has some washi tape up here on it. And we got some um, music sheet. And then I stapled these ephemera pieces up there. Uh, this is uh, pieces from the collection. And I just fussy cut it and adhered it on this page. And then. This is more book pages over here that I just used some of the buttons from a digital collection that I have in my stash and I just put those on there. And then this is another one of the flip downs that you can write on and then I just use these ephemera pieces up here to uh, hold it down. We got more coffee dyed pages and then this page here is another one of those that are uh, I fussy cut and put the beautiful black lace behind it and I love how that looks isn't that so pretty and then coffee dyed paper with some um, ephemera in there and this one here is so cool this is like my favorite piece and I put it in all my journals this is from my town here of uh, the town that I lived in I live in Clorinda and this berry seed company is just like three blocks away from me in fact I used to live just a half a block away from this place and um, 
it's not in operation anymore because the the man that owned it he passed away and and so it's not open anymore now a uh, guy that does electrical work has the building and he's got his business in there but um i just think it's really cool that i found this in, on pinterest this uh seed ticket i found it on pinterest and i was just so excited because i thought oh my goodness that's from Clorinda. That's awesome. So I put it in all my journals because I just love to. So just a little story for you. But anyway, and this is uh, the back page of this journal. The very last page. I took some black paper and made a pocket, put some book page on it, and then just stuffed it full of goodies. This is some beautiful laces uh, that I put on the back page so they'd kind of hang out over and look gorgeous. There's the very back page, the back of the doily, and the back of the book has this piece here that folds down and folds out. You can do lots of journaling in there, and I just folded it up, and, and uh, it's just hanging out there on the back page. And then, again, the back of the book. I love how this turned out. This kit was right up my alley. It was so easy for me to work with had an awesome time playing with this kit thank you so much so much Mimi and Melody uh, it's absolutely gorgeous and um, I'm I'm thrilled to have this in my collection to uh, use for future projects as well because uh, I have so many ideas that I want to make with this kit it's absolutely gorgeous so if you guys like the bee theme, please go check out uh, Melody's website and um, uh, consider getting this kit in your collection because it's truly a treasure, so uh, you'll enjoy having it. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Uh, thank you for allowing me to be on your dream team, Mimi. I so enjoyed it, and um, I look forward to sharing many more projects with you uh, that I make with this beautiful kit. So thank you guys so much. If, you, if you're if you new here, welcome. If you've been here with me before, welcome back. Thank you guys for stopping by. You guys have a great day. Uh, I'm having a sale. Uh, Tuesday, 3 p.m. Central. So if you're interested, come back and spend some time with us. Me and Deborah's going to be selling some goodies. So you guys take care. Love you all. Bye now.